Every Dollar App Review, the best budgeting app. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Every Dollar, which is a budgeting application. It's available for desktop as well as Android and iOS devices and can be a great way for you to be able to start managing your personal finances. And building a budget is one of the most basic premises of personal finance, which can help you in coming up with a spending plan so you can give each dollar an actual job and know that your money is going where it's supposed to. Now, every dollar strives to be a budgeting software that helps you do just that. And I'm not going to lie, every dollar has some stiff competition, including some other applications like Empower, but every dollar has its own space because of the unique features that it can provide. Now, if we take a look at the pricing of every dollar, you can get started for free and create your free account on every dollar with a few simple and easy steps. So I already have an account and I'll just log in. If you don't have one, you can sign up with your email address and create a password and then just click on create account. I'm going to click on sign in over here. And we're just going to sign into our account over here. And this is a free account that I am going to display to you guys on every dollar. So here we have the current month directly listed in our budget. On the left, you will find a panel for settings, your help center, your feed, as well as your learn section, Ramsey Pros, insights, roadmaps, goals, paycheck planning, and budget. Now, keep in mind that on the free version of every dollar, only the budgeting is free. Now, keep in mind that on the free version of every dollar, only budgeting is a free tool. If you're looking to get started with bill payment, investment tracking, credit score monitoring, bill management, retirement planning, uh, reconciling transaction, as well as two-factor authentication, all of those are only available on the premium version of every dollar. So you can go on ahead and upgrade to premium. And if you're wondering what premium costs, you guys can see that they have premium and then Ramsey Plus. So you can get a 30-day free trial of their premium version as well. If if you're looking to just check out what every dollar is going to be in terms of your day-to-day -day use whether or not you need it or not or you can choose to subscribe to every dollar yearly and on the yearly plan you only have to pay $80 plus any applicable taxes and that is all you have to do and you will have every day all year for free now let's get started into the actual free version in every dollar now if you go into your budget you can click on start planning and you can choose to dispense off your income now i already have set a budget previously so you can replicate your budget for each month if you're earning um you know approximately the same amount of money and you can customize a pre-existing budget if you don't have one you can click on start planning and you will see that it will show me my current earnings so this is the earnings that i've put in then on the left i have my income then i have giving saving bills spending debt then you have your spent and then you have your remaining section and then you will have any transactions that you are tracking and any accounts that you have linked so over here we are viewing a future month i can directly click on today to be able to view today's budget or this month's budget and you will see that you can choose to change your income so if my planned income is more than i expected i can go on ahead and add another income by adding multiple different paychecks you can name them paychecks or you can even name them by your job let's say i have an add income and let's say this is my lawn mowing gig and my lawn mowing gig has made me um 200 let's just say that and I've received that $200 like this. So after that, my planned income has now increased. Now I can go on ahead and start setting up how I want to budget this. So in my giving section, I've added two basic items such as church and charity. Let's say another section is going to be donations for children like this. I can add that and let's say I'm donating $20 over here, $1 to the church or let's say $10 to the church and I'm giving $10 to charity. Now after that you will see on the right you are going to have a summary and then it's going to edit your giving and savings. Now after that I have an emergency fund where I am planning to save $90 and this would make my total savings in my emergency fund to be $180. You can build different types of savings. You can click on add item. This could be a 
medical in our savings account i want to build a separate savings section for my medical bills and i am planning to save a hundred dollars each month for that now i'm going to take a look at my remaining income i have sixteen hundred dollars remaining and then i have to add my basic bills and subscriptions that i end up spending so let's say we are spending three hundred dollars in rent and then i have a twelve dollar water bill gas bill electric so let's say we're paying fifty dollars for electric fifty dollars for internet our streaming services rash as well as our phone bill health insurance our life insurance auto insurance any identity theft insurance if you're paying that a gym membership like this i'm going to just insert these values now after that it's going to always update my total remaining income now below that i have my spending so in my spending i have groceries restaurants gas clothing pet care i can click on add item to another item so let's say in my spending i also have something like maybe a gold or let's say this is going to be an uh, engagement party so let's say for my engagement party um engagement party decor or just decor like this home decor maybe but let's say that's another expense that i usually have every month so i can insert that over here and you can choose whether or not you want to cut back in certain categories because you have it listed out categorically you're not going to go into sephora you're not going to go into target and overspend because you already know how much you have allocated to that particular section of spending and how much you should be spending in one particular day then you can add any type of debt that you are in and you can click on add groups to set up different types of groups so maybe you have something that doesn't fall under your income giving savings donations spending something else that you are allocating your money to you can add that over here as well plus if you take a look at your budget and you're not certain about how this is set up you can scroll to the bottom click on reset budget and make my planned amount 0 hundred click on next and you're going to click on reset and your budget will be reset and now you can get started with resetting up your entire budget from scratch you can set up your income different sections of spending that you are going to be partaking in as well as different groups of spending that are necessary for you now a lot of people might say hey isn't this really basic for an application that is meant to be for a total budgeting application well when you make a category a fund you are going to be making a savings goal and it's very important that you have your goals listed as clearly and simply as possible and if you take a look at the baby steps which are dave ramsey's signature they are intended to be a guide to help you get out of debt and get into wealth and the seven steps are to save a thousand dollars pay off debt save three to six months of expenses save 15 percent of your retirement to start a college fund pay off your house and build wealth and give so what every dollar does is that every dollar makes it easier for you to get started with this financial roadmap because it's so simple because it's so easy it makes it easier to save because you don't want a complicated app that is just going to end up taking more of your time and making it more difficult to start saving money plus every every dollar has manual entries available and it also has a simple budgeting plan that can help you in saving money effectively and easily so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to get started with every dollar if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have any questions or queries leave those in the comment box down below i would love to know what you guys have to say